Welcome to Nets Through Live from the Box of Jones. Anyways, uh, I got a little video blog. More or less about the anti vaccination uh, groups and movement. Well, if you didn't know, I was actually known as Vaccine Hesitant. Vaccine Hesitancy, yes. Those that hesitate to take vaccines or those that are. Uh, Theorists on vaccines. One moment, please. That's better. I recently replied to a Twitter reply on a, the At On Health channel. You know, on Twitter. I usually go on Twitter uh, twice, three times a week, maybe. Maybe less, maybe more, I don't know. But I came across these, I just simply replied to a thread, one reply, that's all I did. And I just mentioned a few things for vaccines, because I believe that if you're immunized, you're less prone to infectious diseases, less prone to spreading them and all that, if you are infected, that is. Which, nobody knows most of the fucking signs until you're actually infected and you're actually feeling it. Sometimes you don't know. Sometimes... I don't know if I'm going to get chicken pox, measles, or whatever, polio, or the flu. I don't know. It could be a few days to a few weeks before you get the signs. And then you're fucked. And then what are you supposed to do? Yeah. Now you're, factor now you're factoring that in. That's how bad it can become. No, seriously. That's how bad it can be. And what are you supposed to do then? Hold on a second. That's better. Yeah. How bad can it become? Horrible. It can become fucking horrible. The effect about those horrible signs, those fates, and then what are you supposed to do then? Excuse the camera. I have yet to, uh, I've already fixed this video, but the motion I cannot fix because the false intended by this damn system. And. On impurity by the stupid tripod I'm using, it keeps falling. What can I do? It's a smartphone. The tripod sucks dick. But uh, regardless. When you get vaccines, you don't get fucking disabled. Now, if you're looking at the American part or Canadian part, I don't know what it is that's vaccine disabilities relating to vaccines. If people are willing to shove it up their ass, to shove it right in the spinal cord, to shove it in the stomach, shove it in the ribs, Anywhere you're not supposed to insert it or up the penis or in the vagina or in the breast. That's evil shoot it just about anywhere. Injecting the side of the skull. Like, who the fuck does that? Yes, that could result in neuro neurological fuck ups. But if you're gonna put it where they normally put it, your arm, you're gonna be okay. You put it in your spine, your penis, your neck. Your spine, your back. Your spine can be anywhere from your ass to your back. Injecting your penis, your liver. You're not going to do what's best, what that vaccine is supposed to do. And injecting directly in your spinal cord, you're going to fuck yourself up real bad. That's why most end up, uh, how do I put it? Disabled from vaccines? Yeah. They inject it in the spinal cord directly. Or in her neck and the spinal cord. Or they hurt one of the vertebrae. Yeah, you can fuck yourself up by doing it. I should just never doing it ever again. No. Don't blame it on the government. No. Don't blame it on the vaccine. No. Don't blame it on stupid, some stupid conspiracy theory, depopulation agenda, whatever the fuck it is. No, that's not gonna happen. Fuck you, Alex Jones, for uh, promoting that fucking movement in Canada. Yeah, you son of a bitch. I'm watching you. That's why you got denied on PayPal and Twitter and who knows what else. You got your account terminated because that's what the fuck you're doing. Probably even got terminated on Facebook. Not sure about that. And regardless, regardless, I got my vaccines, got my flu shot, got all of them. I'm at no risk to the chicken pox, measles, 
polio or the flu. Now, if I happen to catch that, I know my body can actually fend it off. It may take a few days or a week and I'll feel like shit. At least I know I'll be able to fend it off. But you, you, the ones that didn't get vaccinate your kids, didn't vaccinate yourself, your teenagers, youth, whatever, your siblings, sister, brother, whatever, whatever the fuck. You get bitten by a mosquito that bit someone with the flu, chicken pox, measles, polio, whatever, other contagious diseases or infections, diseases. Uh, you're going to get it regardless. And what are you going to do? Nothing. There's nothing you can do. You'll be infected. And you won't know the signs until it actually happens. Because it's one day to a week, depending. And then what are you supposed to do? You can't blame it on the government. You can't blame it on a doctor. It's the hospital. You can't blame it on that fucking mosquito, deer fly, uh, black fly, or other bunny insect that bit you in the first place that got you into that mess. Yeah. Or someone you might have fought with. They might have punched you. Or, uh, I don't know, scratched you. Or bit you. Regardless of how fucking, how stupid you actually fight, you could easily end up contracting that. And then what are you supposed to do? You get infected. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should have vaccinated myself. Yeah. No, I'm not brainwashed. I'm not brainwashed. I'm not, uh... Lobby by any government, government brainwashing or whatever fucking program that you're actually suggesting, because that's all fringe. No, the UN is doing not all fringe. Otherwise, if vaccines did kill or disable people, we'd all be in wheelchairs by now or mobility devices. We'd all be unable to do anything at all. There'd be millions of people not able to do anything at all. No, seriously, millions, billions, tens of millions. Most of whoever you talk to would be in wheelchairs or be in mostly an incapacitated state where they couldn't really do much at all. They'd be restricted intellectually and everything. So, maybe you should rethink those accusations and stop calling me a fascist. Because fascists, yeah, maybe you should look that up too. I've also looked that up online. I'm not a fascist. Fucking tripod. Anyways, uh, yeah. If you don't vaccinate your kids, you're at risk of transmitting infectious diseases. Even long before you even catch them. Long before. It's a good thing to be immunized. They always encourage that. And I'm glad I am. So if I get bitten by a mosquito. Yeah, the chances of catching malaria are pretty slim in Canada. But the flu, chicken pox, polio, or whatever. Like anything contagious that affects in Canada. That's like the Zika virus in H1N1. Uh, I'm pretty much covered. So, I'm glad I don't have to deal with the anti-vaccination community. Because, chances are, you're not allowed to bring your kids or yourselves into school, college, daycare, without getting vaccinated. And that's just law in Ontario. And much of Canada. The only thing you can do is homeschool your kid. But then again, if we're going to full-time job, how are you supposed to do that? Factor that in. Factor that in. There's no grand conspiracy to depopulate the planet. There's no grand conspiracy to cause people to get autistic from a vaccine. No, 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 there's not. I was born on the spectrum. Long before I even got any vaccines. Many were. At least a million were. And there are so many on the spectrum that have actually done far, far more. The successful CEOs, successful company owners, successful businesses, and you wouldn't even know they were on the spectrum. Because they got the proper intervention and the proper health. To be fucking honest. Yes. To be brutally honest. They got all the fucking help they can get for their families. And yet. You want to say oh. A vaccine caused it. No. It didn't. There's no proof for that. There's no fucking proof. And you lick an article from 1998. Really? 
Really? Really? Really now? 22 years from then? They, you don't think they fixed that? Yeah, they fixed it. Many of my neighbors, many of my friends have gotten that. Have not had that problem. They fixed it. Long since then. Anyways, that's all I gotta say with the anti vax community. No, one, you're not gonna get autism. Two, you're not gonna get disabled. Unless you inject it directly into your spine. Unless you inject it directly in the side of your head, right into your brain. Unless you inject it up your ass, or in your intestine, or in your liver. At least anywhere else in the could fuck up somebody men uh, mentally, whatever. Uh, or directly into your brain. It's not gonna happen. You're not gonna die from a vaccine. You're not gonna be debilitated into a wheelchair or mobility device. Seriously. The other problem is the vehicle driving community. If you got a, such a demanding job, they have to manage to drive every single day, but then you got them every day, every single day, and you rarely ever fucking get a single chance to exercise. Because you're so exhausted after work. They only get two free days. Not just one. Two at most. To relax. To recover. Yeah. You're going to develop problems. Unless you have use active transportation to get to and from work every single day. That means skate. If in the winter it's always ice. Rollerblade. Scooter. That means push kick. Uh, electric, uh, bicycle, jog, run, skateboard, longboard, or walk to work, by public transit, whatever, but my bike is the best, you're going to develop those issues long before you even touched a vaccine. Just to be honest, active transportation is what I use, has been using since 2010 of August. And I will never give that up. Just remember that. If a billion people did that, they would not have any health problems since then. Maybe arthritis, yes. Things that happen. Worn out joints. Worn out bones. Accidents. Fractured bones, whatever. That happens. But the health benefits outweigh the health deficits. I'm not using active transportation. Factor that in. Peace out, people. That's all I gotta say. Vaccinate your kids. This is not fucking brainwashed propaganda. This is not government propaganda. I wasn't even paid to do this fucking shit. That's why I'm swearing. So fuck you who even disagree with this. If we're gonna try and sit to this video? Don't bother. It's uploaded elsewhere. It'll be seen by Google regardless. Duck, duck, go. Google, Bing, whatever, start page, anything like that. Peace.